In the 1800s and even into the early 1900s, uranium compounds were also used in glazes for pottery. For example, the famous bright orange Fiesta ware plates of the 1930s contained uranium in their glaze. Now to show this fluorescence, here I have a UV light that we can shine on the cube with uranium. Look at that. It gives a beautiful glow. Now let's dig in one of the reasons of this beautiful color, because we know now uranium has a powerful secret. Now that powerful secret started to come out in 1896. This is where uranium's story gets really interesting for science. A French physicist named Henri Becquerel was investigating phosphorescent materials, things that glow after being exposed to light. He had some uranium salt, potassium uranyl sulfate to be exact, and a photographic plate like an old film. In a happy accident of scientific discovery, Becquerel left the uranium salt in a drawer on top of the unexposed photographic plate. When he later developed that photographic plate, it was fogged up as if it had been exposed to light. But it hadn't been exposed to sunlight. The mysterious rays were coming from the uranium itself. Becquerel had discovered that uranium emits invisible rays that can penetrate opaque black paper and affect photographic film. This was the discovery of radioactivity. Though that term would be coined a bit later by Marie Curie. Now in short, uranium was found to spontaneously give off energy in a way no one had imagined before. The yellow glass making element turned out to beam out invisible penetrating rays all on its own. Now following Becquerel's discovery, Pierre and Marie Curie began studying uranium and other minerals. In 1898, Marie Curie's research on uranium ore led to the discovery of even more radioactive elements, polonium and radium. 